I'm in Camosun bog, surrounded by several different species of sphagnum mosses. Sphagnum mosses are really important in bogs. They thrive in the acidic conditions, and they form the substrate that the other plants are able to grow in. And as the sphagnum dies and forms peat, it can grow many meters thick. And it has a very high water holding capacity, so it helps hold moisture for the plants. The family of sphagnum is Sphagnaceae, and the genus is Sphagnum. There are about 40 species of sphagnum moss in the Pacific Northwest coast. Individual plants consist of a main stem with a tightly arranged clusters of branches called fascicles. The stems grow upright and also possess small stem leaves, which are important for species identification. The top of the plant is a compact cluster of young branches called the capitulum. Sporophytes are very similar among all sphagnum species, so they're not relied upon for identification. They have black, shiny capsules on short-lived clear stalks. The soil moisture regime is wet to very wet, and the soil nutrient regime is poor.